guys, it's Julian from Julian's Place, bringing you another Minecraft mod, and today we are doing the Ender Dragon Mount mod. Yeah, I said it. This is a mod where you can make an Ender Dragon your pet slash mount uh, that you can fly around or ride on through your Minecraft world. Now this mod adds one new item and uh, four new kinds of dragons, uh, plus the tameable Ender Dragon. So let's get started. Everything you need to tame your dragon is in this chest. So first we're going to start with this and this. This is a spawn egg. We're not going to use that for right now because it's unnecessary. And we are going to take a saddle, a fish, and a bone. So we'll just start with the traditional ender dragon. We can spawn that in with a regular egg, I guess. really doesn't matter. This one I'll just go a little bit away from because we don't really need... Um, here, I'm gonna get a sword, because I am gonna have to kill it, because I don't want it around, uh, after we spawn it in. So, this is an ender dragon, this is what it looks like. You'll have to hatch it using one of these, just place it down, wait a couple days, and it'll, uh, hatch into a hatchling, and then you wait a little more time, and then it'll hatch into a hatchling, and then into a, uh, juvenile, and then finally into adult. This is a full adult ender dragon. Uh, to tame it, you just right-click it with a fish, until it loves you, and then attach a saddle. Then to make it sit, you right click with a bone, and you can get on it, and you can do this. Awesome. And now this Hunter Dragon will fight for you, and it will follow you around unless you tell it to sit. Uh, so I'm going to murder this one. Yeah, I know, it's so sad. And we're actually going to start getting into the types of dragons. Now if you want to skip the staging of your dragon and, and stuff, uh, you can, um, disregard that. We, me and Derek were doing some exper experiments and it, it inquired me changing him into different forms and then murdering him in very different ways. But he's fine, don't worry. He's at his house, right, uh, our house right now. He's not needed for this mod, so, whatever. Alright, now then, to actually, uh, get the different various types of dragons, to hatch them legitimately, you are going to need to put them in for a fire dragon right here, for a water dragon right here, and then uh, down here for a, uh, and uh, forget what it's called, a ghost dragon down there, and then an aether dragon has to be up that high. And we'll start with this dragon. And there's a couple other dragons that I will try and look into, I'm not exactly sure yet, but here's how you would do, and then you would wait. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to right-click this egg, and then I'm going to use this command right here. I'm going to use, uh, slash dragon, uh, uh, stage adult water. Uh, not that, uh, this, this one. Not that one. Um. Uh, what is it? Um, you have to give me a second here to look this up. It is, okay. Okay. Alright, dragon stage adult water. Alright, and that's what you would type to fast forward the process. And then this is what you get. A water dragon. Now he looks very cool. Which I'm kill. And you tame him in the same way. Let me just go back up like that. Alright, and next is the fire dragon. And you just go at replace water for fire. And, uh. Oop, I gotta right click the egg. You also have to right click the egg. Duh. And that's how you initiate the actual dragon process, is right click the egg. Alright, and this is the fire dragon. He's immune to fire. And he's very beautiful. Alright. And you tame him in the same way too. Now if we just come down here, we will get to the the ghost dragon. I'm a pig. Can't do it. Uh this is very tedious. Now can I please get in the hole? There we go. Falling down here, I'm gonna set it back today. Alright. And now I'm just gonna place a, an egg down. 
right click it and do the same command but ghost and the ghost one isn't supposedly working um, did I spell ghost wrong? well the ghost one's supposed to uh, glow in the dark I don't know why it's not working uh, let me just uh, yeah, I don't know why it's not working. I spelled ghost right, but uh, the ghost one is supposed to go in the dark. But you get the point. Um, now if we come back up here, we can try the uh, Aether Dragon. Now this one you have to go really high for, but it's a cool looking dragon. And hopefully it doesn't get out like uh, the ghost dragon did. And then there's a couple other types of dragons that I haven't really gotten into. And then I'll show you some other combat and stuff. And uh, fantastic, yeah. Alright, so if I uh, place an egg right here, then activate it, and then right. What kind of dragon is it? It's how is it spelled? Air. It's an air dragon, not aether. What the the fuck? Fucking moving eggs. Alright, let me do this. Ah, the hell. It just falls. Great. Uh, well, let me try putting dirt layer or something just to stop that. I don't know why. I don't know why it feels the need to fall through like that. It's not special or anything like that. Alright. Now then, try this one more time. Why does it fall through like that? Oh well. It shouldn't be falling through like that. But we'll put another egg and try it again down here. Put it right there, right click, and right air. And what I typed air. Um Air Dragon's supposed to look blue and it didn't work. But uh you get the point. The air dragon's supposed to look blue. Uh I don't know why it's not working. Some of these dragons, I guess that might be a bug in the mod, but uh next we have the, let's try the nether dragon. I haven't tried the nether dragon. Nether. Oh. What kind of dragon is that? It's fire. Here I click and do this. And this is water. So some of the things are mixed up. Uh, I get it. Um, I'm not understanding why um, it's doing this. Maybe ice. Either, even if there was one kind of dragon, it's still kind of a mod, uh, ice, what's ice, and then it spawns in a regular one, whatever, alright, so we're gonna come over here now, and we're actually gonna get into like, some of the combat of the, um, game, I mean of the dragons, so, spawn another dragon, we'll tame it, um, it should be working for you, I'm using an outdated version, like I said, so that might be why, but, uh, tame it with a fish, tame, Alright, it needs to get tamed. Alright, let's put the saddle on it. Alright, and he's my friend. Alright, now if I switch difficulty to hard. Ooh. Like this. And I spawn it. I think I turn it to night. And then I get a zambi. This would really be helpful, like, actually fighting the Ender Dragon. Having a dragon that fights for you. And then if we just hit the Zambi, get him angry at me. <laughs> He'll attack him and kill him. And he follows also, as you can see. And if you're flying, he'll start to fly usually. He should start to fly, but I don't know why. If you go up in the air and then go down, he will fly. Now if I turn it back to... Peaceful. And then back to day. I can outro the video. Because that's really all this mod has to offer. Which is a, a lot. That's a lot. Having being able to ride dragons and tame them and shizniz. That, that's pretty freaking awesome. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe. Um, how many likes can we get for Ender Dragons? Maybe, please? Yep. But uh, as always... Have a nice day.